All right, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the different pricing and availability functionality inside of Flux. Now, when you look at your project, you can always hover to the top here and see the average price of the entire project. And you'll see that it gives options from LCSC, Mouser, Vericle, Arrow, and DigiKey. Um, you can also scroll down and get a little bit more detailed information here in the inspector. Um, if you want to look at it an in individual part in your project, you just select that part and then you'll actually see the availability, availability of just that part. Now, um, we have a very large public library of components and I typed in accelerometer and we can start to see um, the availability of various accelerometers that are in the library. Um, this indication here is that um, the information that we are getting from distributors is uh, not recommending this part for new designs. It might be an end of life warning. And so that's a new feature that we can identify uh, when uh, different distributors are identifying that. Um, but you can start to see pricing um, and, and that's easy to uh, access just by expanding the, uh, the drawer there. Now, if you want to search by specific distributor, you can also do that. So you could say, hey, we found 62 accelerometers, uh, but I want to look for accelerometers from Arrow and Mouser only, and it will filter your results there. And again, you can kind of expand this and, and start to get more granular details. Now, Copilot also gives you a bunch of uh, insights. And uh, Carrie, who built this project, already prompted a few things. Um, that I can show you. Uh, right here, he asks, Copilot, plot out the cost of this project as a pie chart. Include all the components you have data for. Um, and Copilot gives you a nice uh, chart here. Um, you can download the image, you can print the image, you can copy it to your clipboard and you know send it in a message or put it into another document. Um, he then asks, you know, can you recommend cheaper replacements for the most two costly parts? And Copilot gives a couple different options. Um, it gives uh, you know a few different options for the LoRa E5. Um, it also gives you implementation considerations, uh, some differences in pin compatibility, some firmware changes you might need to be aware of, and some availability and lifecycle status. So a uh, couple different ways for you to look at parts, uh, either optimize parts for future projects or look at end of life and filter by distributors. All right, thanks.